Let me show you how to do this using Movavi. Let's go. To begin, let's play the footage and look for a moment that we think best highlights the person or thing we want to introduce. That looks pretty good. Okay, once we're happy with our moment, we'll want to insert a freeze frame. We can do this by either hitting Ctrl plus E on our keyboard or by right clicking on our clip and selecting insert freeze frame. Okay, now we have a snapshot of that moment placed right in the timeline, lasting about four seconds. Four seconds might be a little long for this, so let's shorten that down a little bit. That's better. Next, we'll want to zoom into this clip, highlighting the character as best we can. To do this, we can right click on the freeze frame, go up to tools, and then come over and select pan and zoom. This will open up the tool gallery with our zoom options. And then we'll simply grab zoom in and drop that right on our clip like this. Now over here in the preview window, we can resize and reposition this frame so that it fits our character just the way we want. Now down in the timeline, let's drag these keyframes to the beginning of our clip. So that way we start zooming in right as we kick off this freeze frame. Now I'm gonna play this through just so you can get an idea of what it looks like so far. Okay, so far so good. But if you noticed, as soon as we played through that still frame, it abruptly popped back to the original footage. Let's smooth that out by adding a zoom out to the end of the freeze frame. So let's go back up to the gallery and grab zoom out and drop it right on the end of our clip like this. At this point, we'll need to quickly go up into the preview window and adjust this end frame back to full picture so that we zoom all the way back out, blending seamlessly with our original footage. Okay, once that's set, let's go back to our clip in the timeline and adjust the timing of the keyframes. For this example, I'm just going to keep the spacing about the same as we did before with our zoom in. Remember, the timing of these will affect how fast or how slow you'll zoom in or out, and it's entirely up to you to decide what looks best for your project. Now that we've framed our character nicely, we need to decide on a color filter that we want for this introduction scene. So for this example, I went over to the Artistic tab and chose Selective Color Blue, as I wanted a black and white look, and I really like the way it preserved the blue scarf in this example. If you don't immediately find a filter you like, you can also find a few more by clicking Tools and selecting Color Adjustments. Now in Color Adjustments, if you click on the Advanced tab, you can completely create your own look, or select the Easy tab and pick from a few of the preset options. Remember Tommy the Trickster? For his introduction, I used the time travel preset right here. Now that we've picked our color, let's add a slight movement to this still frame by using animation. So while we still have the more tools icon selected, let's click animation and then again on this button to add it. Now over here in the preview window, I'm going to grab this rotation handle and adjust it to what I think looks good for this introduction. So let's just turn it about one degree or so. Now because we've just rotated the original sized image from its position, if we were to leave it like this, we would end up seeing black around the image like this. So to avoid this, we want to grab the corners and stretch the image out just enough to cover the entire screen. Movavi actually placed dotted grid lines here that we can use to help ensure that we've covered the entire screen. Once placed, let's just make sure the keyframes are set to the beginning and end of our clip so that our movement happens throughout the entire shot. Okay, so with that completed, we've got a zoom in, slight movement, and a zoom out. Okay, on to the last step, giving our character a name. So by clicking the Titles tab, you'll find several options to choose from. For this example, let's open the Feature tab and grab Text with Line 2. I actually only really want the top line of text from this title, so I'm going to get rid of the second line as well as the white bar by simply dragging them completely out of screen like this. Okay, that's better. From here, we'll resize and reposition the text as well as pick out the font and coloring that seems fitting. I'll repeat the same process for any additional names or nicknames needed. Now I chose this particular title because I like the way the text opens up, but pick whatever style you think goes best with your project. Once the name is in place, we need to come down into the timeline and make sure the timing is right. So what I like to do is scale in a little bit on the timeline, highlight the titles, grab the playhead, move it slowly along the timeline until I see the text actually beginning to appear like this. Now referencing off the playhead, I'll grab the title at that moment and position that right to the beginning of the zoom. Next, we can adjust the end of the title so that the name disappears just as we are zooming out of the freeze frame. Okay, that'll do it. And you can repeat the same process for as many characters as you need. And by adding a little theme music, you can have a really fun character intro freeze effect. Thanks for watching.